Hi everybody, it's story time. You ever have one of those days where it seems like you keep trying to do something, like do a video on a book and you're doing it over and over and over again because there are so many interruptions. That's the way it is today. So we're gonna try it again. The book I'm gonna read is My First Raggedy Ann, How Raggedy Ann Got Her Candy Heart. This is adapted from stories by Johnny Gruel. One day, Marcella came into the nursery. You're invited to a tea party, she told the dolls. We can sit outside and watch the men painting the house. Marcella brought all the dolls outside. They sat in red chairs at her table under the old apple tree. They drank lemonade with grape jelly in it, which made it a beautiful lavender color. They ate cream puffs and tiny little cookies with powdered sugar. The sun was shining and a soft breeze was blowing. While Marcella and the dolls were having their tea party, men were painting the house. One of the painters saw Raggedy Ann. Look at that rag doll, he said. She's a daisy. Raggedy Ann didn't notice the painters because she was watching some boys who were flying a kite. One boy lifted the kite above his head while another held a ball of string. Suddenly a breeze took the kite from the first boy. The kite climbed high in the air, then it fell down. It needs a longer tail, one boy shouted. Let's tie Raggedy Ann to the tail, Marcella suggested. I know she would enjoy a trip way up in the sky. The boys were delighted with this new idea, so Raggedy Ann was tied to the tail of the kite. Raggedy Ann was happy, too. She thought she might like to be up high. This time, the kite rose straight in the air, and Raggedy Ann was way, way up and far away. How Raggedy Ann enjoyed being up there. She could see for miles. The house and children were tiny, and her shoe button eyes couldn't even spot the other dolls. Just then, there was a great puff of wind, and Raggedy Ann heard a ripping sound. It was the rag that tied her to the kite. Down below, Marcella was getting restless. Will you please pull the kite down now, she asked the boys. I want Raggedy Ann. The boys didn't want Raggedy Ann to come down, but the wind puffed again and the rag tore. Raggedy Ann went sailing through the air as the wind caught in her skirts. The kite began darting and swooping to the ground. It landed in the apple tree, and as the boys, Marcella, and all the other dolls watched, Raggedy Ann flew out of the sky and fell into a can of paint. Marcella ran to her doll. Oily white house paint covered Raggedy Ann's yarn hair and her shoe button eyes. It covered her pretty blue dress and her striped stockings. It soaked into her cotton stuffing. The nice painter, who liked Raggedy Ann, fished her out of the paint can. My goodness, he said. He looked at Marcella. If you let me, I'll take her home with me. I'll clean her up tonight and bring her back. Marcella nodded. She was too upset to speak. The painter wrapped Raggedy Ann in newspaper. Then he brought her home and washed her in a tub. He put her feet in the clothes wringer and his wife turned the crank. It was hard work, but Raggedy Ann came through the clothes wringer. She was flat as a pancake and so was her smile. The painter hung Raggedy Ann on the clothesline and he and his wife sat down to supper. There she is right there on the clothesline. Raggedy Ann swung upside down on the clothesline, even after the sun went down. It was still warm outside. She wasn't lonely because the moon and the stars kept her company. Just before dawn, a robin and his wife flew by. They asked Raggedy Ann if they could have some of her yarn hair to line a nest for their little babies. Raggedy Ann smiled at them. They took the yarn from her head and some of her cotton stuffing. When the sun was all the way up and Raggedy Ann was quite dry and toasty warm, the painter unclipped her from the clothesline and brought her back inside. 
he sewed new yarn on her hair. Then he took out the rest of her old stuffing and filled her full of fluffy new white cotton. Don't sew her up yet, said his wife. She pulled a paper bag from a cupboard, reached inside and fished out a red candy heart. It had blue letters printed on it that said, I love you. The painter took the heart from his wife. He poked it inside Raggedy Ann, just where her heart would be, and sewed her up like new. Then he said goodbye to his wife and went back to finish painting Marcella's family's house. Marcella and the dolls had passed a sad night. They missed their friend and they wondered if they would see her again. When the painter arrived, they were waiting under the apple tree. Here she is, said the painter, fresh as a daisy. Marcella hugged Raggedy Ann. She smelled so good. That night, all the dolls arranged themselves around Raggedy Ann in the nursery, and she told them about being washed and put through the clothes wringer. She told them about Mama and Papa Robin, and about being dried and stuffed and made just like new. Last of all, she told them about the candy heart that read, I love you. The end. This is really cute. Um, it is a beginner reader. And apparently there are five to the series. So um, if you're a little one or if you like Raggedy Ann books, it might be something you might want to pick up. The colors are really pretty and bright in them. I think it's a cute book. And um, that's all for that one today. And I'll find another and I'll talk to you later. Bye.